हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए न्यू वेब सर्विस डेट आई एडेड ऑन माय वेबसाइट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम विच इज यूट्यूब चैनल इन्फो एप सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ ग्रेट वेब एप्लीकेशन वेयर यू कैन जस्ट एंटर एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल नेम एंड देन यू कैन गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इट लेट सपोज चैनल नेम चैनल इमेज चैनल यू आर एल इफ यू क्लिक दिस यू आर एल यू विल बी रिडरेक्टेड इन अ न्यू टैब अबाउट दिस चैनल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई चैनल कोडिंग शिक्षा एंड यू कैन जस्ट गिव नेम ऑफ एनी चैनल it will provide subscribers views country the genre of channel how many uploads that the channel has done estimated monthly earnings and yearly earnings so the link will be there inside the video description of this live demo that i have provided on my website freemediatools.com and here you can just enter the name let's suppose my channel coding shiksha and then if you click get channel info and it will uh, tell you the info here you can just uh, write here pudi pi the channel name you can see now you can see subscribers is 108 million views country video uploads and you can see them estimated monthly earnings and yearly earnings so this is a great tool that i developed in node chess and express that any time that you want to search for a specific youtube channel you can just write the name uh, one of the channel that i very like is travesty media this is a web development channel uh, which is the owner brett eversy and it you can see the subscribers views and uh, one other is technical guru ji you can see it is from india very famous channel in tech so you can for example you can just uh, take any example of your choice of your favorite youtube channel and get information about it and uh, now let me just tell you how i built this app all the source code regarding this vid uh, video will be there inside the video description i have given the second link of my blog here in this blog i have written a complete step by step blog and all the source code will be there inside this video description so just click the copy to clipboard option and you will be copying all the source code and at the bottom of the blog i have given this link here if you click this link you will be redirected to my github repository about this project and you can simply click the code button and download the zip file and now to get started i am using a dependency in node js so if you go to npm js node package manager official website and search for a package which is the youtube dash channel dash info so we are using this dependency guys to get the information related to a channel so this is a great dependency that you can check out it has got only 5 weekly downloads so it's a fairly new module and now what you want to do is that you need to go to your projects directory and i will make a new directory here cmd make directory channel info project i will go into this directory and uh, let me just go into this cd youtube channel info so why it is not i think make directory project 1 cd project 1 so now inside this guys first of all we need to initialize npm init dash y so this will create the empty package dot json file now we need to install three dependencies first is express then is ejs which is a template engine for rendering out html and then we have to install this dependency which is youtube dash channel dash info and last but not least we need also need nodemon which will automatically restart the application for us so we will need these four dependencies so just install it it will take some time it totally depends upon your internet connection how much speedy your internet connection is so it will install all these modules inside your package dot json file and uh, it will be listed inside your dependencies section so This is a great website npmjs.com you will be discovering more modules more node.js modules if you search on it daily daily new modules are added by developers so you should be checking out this website npmjs so let me just check if it is installing so you can see it is installing here so i will not pause the video you need to watch the entire video so just wait it is installing so after this we will open the package dot json file and after that we will construct over the express server we will where we will write the code so just wait 
you can see now it has successfully installed it now we can open this inside our favorite text editor which is visual studio code text editor you can use any text editor of your choice so here we will go to first of all package.json and here we need to make some slight modifications so first of all we need to add a start script so inside the script section you are saying here script section we need to make some changes so first we want to do is put a comma here and write a start script start and then we will equal to node mod index.js that's it so whenever we write npm run start it will automatically start the application for us now we need to make a file here which is index.js which will be the starting point of the application and here we need to initialize our express server so we need to invoke this dependency express we need to require it and then we need to invoke this app variable initialize it to express so as you know this is the standard code for any express application so we can just say console log app is listening on this port and we need to define this port number which is let's suppose 5000 and now we need to make a simple get request guys so when we load the home page we need to render out this ejs template so for before that we need to set the view engine by app.set view engine ejs and now we need to render out this template which is response.render and inside this we need to pass index and we can also pass a second argument which will be dynamic title which will be simply youtube channel info app and now guys we need to create this template inside our views folder and inside this we will create this index.ejs file so basically this will be a simple template we are using some bootstrap and inside this you can just put a dynamic title like this this is the syntax of ejs to render out dynamic variables so after it guys we will use the container class of bootstrap and we will have a simple heading which will be simple heading here which will be youtube channel info app and then we will have two break tags and then we will have a form we will provide an id to it we don't want the action attribute since we are we will be using ajax to submit our form and here we will be having a simple input element and we will be this will be of type text and we will be giving an id to it of a channel name this will be required for the validation so and the placeholder we will say enter channel name that's it and also we will be giving a class to it or bootstrap which is form control just for the styling purpose and then we will have a simple button to submit the form which will have these classes button danger button block and then here we will say get channel info that's it and also guys we need to attach a id to it to the button we will target it inside our jquery so we have included the cdn of jquery so just include it and after this we will uh, write our javascript code and inside this we will submit our form you can write this javascript code in a separate javascript file but we will be writing here only and first of all we need to target the form by its id so there is a submit event handler so when the form submits we will programmatically target it and inside this callback function first of all we will prevent the auto submission of the form e dot prevent default and then we will get the channel name like this we will target it by the id that we have given which is channel name we will get the value like this you can see we have provided this uh, id to it 
and now we need to invoke the dollar ajax method in order to make a ajax request the method will be simply post and uh, and now we need to provide a url url will be get channel info and the third parameter will be the data which we need to send data will be here channel name so channel name will be equal to channel name like this and then is the fourth argument which is success so when the return when the node.js service return the data this callback function will execute which is success callback and here we can console log the data whatever data we are fetching here and one more thing guys we need to trim the data here so first of all we need to trim out the spaces so we can use the trim method and we need to pass the name to it and also we need to remove the spaces if we, if we write coding siksha then we need to remove the space because this library expects this input so now to remove the space we will uh, copy paste some code from the blog here just two lines which will remove the spaces so if you go to my blog i have written this code here inside this javascript you will see once we are, you can see just before you can see this is a line that we need to write basically this will remove the spaces between the words that's exactly what we want now we can write our post request which we are making this uh, get channel info this is a post request we need to make so simply here app dot post we will write get channel info and uh, first of all we can get the value which the user has submit which is a channel name so this is available inside request dot body dot channel name whatever uh, variable name that you have given you can see channel name we are getting now to get this request dot body in order to work this we need to include a special dependency which is body parser which is a built in dependency we did not have to install it third party and uh, we just need to require it it's a built in dependency in nodejs and after this we need to use it the middleware body parser json these two lines are very much important if you don't write this this will not work url encode it and inside this we need to pass extended to false that's it now it will work here if i say here console log the channel name and if i launch the application now you will see npm run start so it will start the application at uh, port 5000 you will see and if i go to this application localhost and if i could check my this value oh sorry we need to enter coding siksha here and click on get channel info you will see this value should be here why it is not Uh, let me just see guys why it is not displaying it the value get channel info data is channel name oh sorry <laughs> we have replaced the wrong value here this needs to be name so now it will restart the application for us we have made changes you will see if i once again launch this if i write coding siksha click get channel info so let me just run the application once again so coding siksha if i write it if i check the console i think oh sorry we haven't let me check guys and uh, let me find out the error why it is not working and uh, i will be back shortly uh, sorry guys the error was simply this trim function was not defined you can see in if i inspect element you will see trim is not defined so i have written the wrong statement here so you can see this needs to be like this we need to invoke it on the string not this so this was a problem just replace it like this and now you will see if i once again start the application you will see it will auto reload and if i submit any sort of value here 
with spaces if i click get a channel info you will see it will print out this value inside this console you will see now we are successfully getting this value now we simply need to send the response back to the html template for this first of all we need to include our uh, channel info dependency you need to require it youtube channel info i think this is the dependency let me just cross check you yes youtube channel info now we simply need to inside this call this function channel info and here we need to pass the channel name and you can just check the documentation about this plugin they have given the example the second argument is the callback function it will return which is the stats so simply you can just console log the stats here inside the server basically this is a json response which will contain all the information for us so if i just write coding siksha and if i check the console you will see it will have this simple json response channel name channel link image created genre country subscribers views uploads monthly earnings and yearly earnings now we simply need to send this response back to our index.ejs file so we can just do it like this response.json and inside this we can create a value which is stats which will be equal to stats that's it and now inside index.ejs we just need to remove this alert box and now we can just say data dot stats in order to retrieve the value so if i just have coding siksha now you will see it will take some time and now you will see the response coming back from the server so now we simply need to display it inside a, in the form of a table so first of all what we can do is that uh, we can have a uh, div after this form which will have a id of result that's it you can see and uh, now we can create a bootstrap table so instead of writing all that code garbage code i can just copy it so you can see let me just copy it basically this is a simple table let me just paste it so inside this after this console log we can simply copy paste the code and after creating this table we can simply append this to this result div that's it we now need to create this outside variable global variable which is result you can see and you can see we have data dot stats dot channel name channel image channel link subscribers views country channel uploads monthly earnings and yearly earnings so it's a simple bootstrap table we have used this table table striped class this is these are the headings you can see and now if i launch the application once again if i provide coding siksha you will see it will take some time and now it will return out the result in a really good manner if i click this button i will be redirected to the channel that i searched you can just go to that channel so a very nice application and one more thing we can just clear out the input whenever we click the button here and one other one other thing if i keep hitting this button it will append this value like this we don't want this so now to counter this we can just when we submit the form we can clear out the previous content like this result and then we can invoke empty that's it so it, it will clear out the previous return previous result and also in order to clear out the value we can say channel name val like this value to nothing that's it and if i once again launch this you will see if i write uh, coding siksha so it will take some time and it will clear out the value here you can see nothing is present here if i once again click it 
you can see it and now what we want guys it will take some time as you see if i hit this button it will take some time and then display the result in that time we can display something some message like please wait it is fetching the data from the api so some kind of uh, signal to the user that the it is working in the background for that we can just manipulate the button we can target the button by its id and then we can say dot text please wait fetching channel info like this and when the conversion is over when the result is ready like this inside success callback we can again change the text to we can target it by the id and then use the text method get channel info like this so this is a great user experience because the user will know that it is you can see please wait and in that time also we can disable the button also that user cannot click the button so now to disable the button in jquery we can simply use a snippet of code which is prop method and inside this we can pass disabled attribute to true and when the success is there when the success callback is there when the data is ready you can undisable it like this we can say button and there is a remove attribute method and we can re remove the attribute of disabled that's it now the application is ready here if i type coding some other chain other name travis c media you can see please wait you can see now this is a great application guys do check out the link in the description of the live demo and for the source code of my blog and please check out the free media tools website daily i add free tools inside this website please share this website with your friends and do join this facebook group of freemediatools.com where i post in the information related to tools and my videos and thanks very much for watching this video if you like this please hit the like button subscribe the channel and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video